What you're looking for is you're looking for a nice oil. You're looking for an oil to be coming up through the fish because salmon itself, uh, like trout, like uh, mackerel, etc., is full of omega-3 oils. All right, so it's a very healthy fish um, to actually eat. If you were working with a, when you're working with a whole side of smoked salmon, okay, the first thing that you want to do in relation to um, the salmon itself is to remove the pin bones. Now, what's happening more and more and more is that these pin bones are being re removed by machine in the factories, all right? Um, another day we'll get in another side of smoked salmon and we'll actually show you how to remove the pin bones. This one here has had its pin bone removed in the factory. Um, but again, you need to be aware of it and don't take it for granted that the pin bones have been removed. You need to go and check and double check to make sure that all of these bones have been taken out. If there's a few stragglers left in there, get your tool and take it out. And um, if, 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 again, as I said, it, it makes just proper, proper, um, that's fucked me up completely now that has. Getting into the carving. Now what we want to do is, um, I'm right handed, okay? Um, so I'm going to be going from right to left, all right? If you're left handed, you know the way you're going to do it. Now the first thing that you want to do is you need, there is a hard skin on the outside of the salmon where it's being smoked, okay? That skin needs to come off, first of all. Now, do not remove the skin completely all at once. What you do is, when you're carving your salmon, you take off as much of the skin as you actually need in relation to the amount of salmon that you're going to carve. Now we have a small function on here today, so I'm going to be carving out the salmon and dressing it on our flat here. Um, so I'm going to be carving out a fair proportion of this. So to show you in relation to what I'm talking about for the salmon, this is what we're talking about in relation to taking off a piece of the surface skin. So you can see here that the amount of salmon that I've taken off here is about a millimeter thick in relation to the actual top, the surface coating of the salmon. This is what needs to come off before you even consider beginning to actually portion it out. If you, you're just being lazy, if you leave this on, okay, it makes for bad presentation. It also has a very, very heavy salty taste on the outside, which this is one of the reasons why we remove this as well. So remember, as I said, you take off the surface skin before you begin to actually carve out the salmon itself. Now again, as I said, remember to take off only the amount of skin that you require in relation to the amount of salmon that you want to carve. Do not go and take off the whole layer of skin on top of the salmon. Why? Because also the skin helps to keep the salmon moist. So I'm going to begin anyway, just in relation to carving off some of this. Now I'm going to just turn this around so you can get a better view. All right. So um, now, Get your knife, and again, chefs, use a carving knife that is very, very sharp, all right? Now, get your knife, and you just want to run it under the skin, like so. Do not put any pressure on it. And again, chefs, what you're looking for in relation to when you're carving, okay, is a long, continuous motion with from your elbow down. Um, what you're doing is you're carving the actual fish you're not hacking the fish all right there's a big difference and this is what makes the difference between a professional and an amateur all right so again getting the blade in just barely under the skin the surface skin has been created from the smoking process so we can just continue on here and all the way down like so again that's it now again like that Remember, chefs, to get in and around, okay? So basically, you're carving here all the way down to the tail, all right? So make sure that you get off the excess like so. Now this is, it's, it is a gentle process, okay? The reason being is because the salmon itself is a very delicate um, product. So you do not want to come in heavy handed in any shape or form when you're actually doing the carving. Because what's gonna happen is, you're just gonna hack the meat, simple as that. You're gonna hack the flesh and completely destroy it. Okay, so I think we have enough trimmings off here. 
Now you can see here in relation to the yellow surface of the, 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 the lateral line here in the fish where it's now become white where previously it was yellow. Um, that was from the smoking process. So, and again chefs, remember to carve with the grain, okay? Why do we carve with the grain? Same as any meat, same as anything we're carving. It always facilitates and aids carving, all right? So, that's what we're going to begin with. I am now going to um, get Chef O'Neill to come in and talk to you in relation to what we can do with our smoked salmon. Chef, we're here now. <clears throat> and we're going to begin to carve out our smoked salmon. Is there anything that we need to be aware of, first of all, in relation to the salmon? For example, I see you're using a specific knife here. Uh, the Granton is the perfect knife for smoked salmon. When you can carve with serrated edge knives, but serrated edge knives tear. Right. So as you're going through, you know, it, this is semi-cooked. Mm -hmm. uh, so what's happening is when you use a serrated edge, you're going to get big serrations. And it, where a smooth edge carving knife, it's like that there. It's nice and smooth and slips through the smoked salmon. Wonderful. Like that there. You know, so what's actually uh, required in smoked salmon is nice, even size. And with a knife like this, because it's not tearing, you can see the knife as you carve. Uh -huh. If you can't see the knife, that's another guideline. If you cannot see your knife, you're too thick. Okay, chefs, now did you hear that? One thing you will see with a skilled set of hands in relation to carving is that the, the salmon that you will buy in pre-sliced is extremely thick, all right? Now, what chef just said there is very important. Could you repeat that again, please, chef? Okay, if you cannot see the knife as you're carving, salmon is too thick. Chefs, please remember that. So, um, just in relation here now as well, I see as you're carving turn, down here. You must turn the side over uh -huh. and there you remove the blood. Okay, now can you just tell us exactly what that means, what the blood is there? The blood is a vein that goes along the side of the, the fish. You know, along inside here yeah. is the blood. And if you can see it from here, point of view, mm -hmm. see it there all the black? Yeah. This is all the blood. That's all the blood. Okay. To your customer. So as you can leave it on the plate. Just take it, take it out, as you go along, do it as, and it's better as you go along to do this, and if you're doing it for a dinner party, what you simply do is get the plate size that you're going to be serving for your dinner party, and put down one portion. Then you can use either a nice parchment paper or some cling film over each one, and do them all individually, and then lay them out, you know, and you can get them all to finally fit nice and easy into your uh, dish to make the full size, full portion. And then <coughs> one thing you should always do then is if you use a bit of cling film underneath the, the portion size that you want, when you get your portion size, take it off, put it on a scale and weigh it. Uh -huh. So as then when you're checking as you go along, if you're carving a whole side of smoked salmon, that <coughs> when you take it off and weigh it, and if you take the, the sixth one that you do and weigh it as a check, you know that all your sides are the same size, as long as you can see your knife as you carve. Excellent, excellent. Uh, one other question, Chef, in relation to the salmon. You mentioned there that if you know somebody at home was doing this for a dinner party, but what about the professional chef? What about the kitchen in the, the restaurant that has a function for 60 people for smoked salmon? It's exactly the same principle. What way would he present his meat? What way would he do his mise en place? You do exactly the same thing. Plate that is going to go for the function size. You carve one portion onto the plate mm -hmm. and build it from there. And then you know, do it in tens. Push it and leave it to one side. Do it in ten, and then you can. Then you have somebody says I've got sixty portions going in ten minutes time, all pre-portioned. Come out, lay it on the plates, put the garnish on, nicely fresh out of the fridge and come. Excellent. Thank you, chef. Okay. Now one lesson in carving. If you're running a professional kitchen or you're doing your carving at home, one is the balance of your body against the, the, the weight in your hand. If you're coming this way, nice and gently, you will get a nice balance so you'll get an even slice every time. Like that slice and that slice are exactly the same. And you do not push it, you just let the knife do the work for you. Just keep it coming nicely down. And remember, if you carve properly in a professional kitchen or your kitchen at home, you're making a profit. 
because this is where money is made. If it's said that you can get 20 slices out of a slice of smoked salmon, and you carve it rightly and get 21 slices, there's an extra little bit of profit. Carving is one of the greatest skills that you can have, whether it's your Sunday lunch, or carving smoked salmon for dinner, or wherever you happen to be carving, a cold piece of cold meat, nice and easy, but at all time, let the knife do the work. A sharp knife will not cut you, a sharp knife will give you a great slice. Just be careful and balance. And keep your feet firmly on the ground, get your body properly over it, and let the knife do the work. Keep I, going and that will be it. And just in relation, Chef, when you talk about balance, I mean, is it your, you need, obviously, if you're doing a lot of carving, you need to be comfortable. So are you talking about sort of bending your knees slightly or are you talking about... Bend your knees slightly and remember if you're going to do a lot of carving uh, in a professional kitchen bring the table up to you, don't go down to the table. Excellent. Thank you Chef. All right, we're now going to do a small presentation for uh, a la carte service where you can do your mise en place in advance. Rosette of smoked salmon, a bit of salad garnish, some of your onions and capers, your dressing, and your lemon. A la carte presentation it can be done in advance, and your rosette can be stored for 100 120 covers.